Hello and welcome to Hack Attack, everyone. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack interview. You see, recently I started interviewing developers because I've been trying to get that format back. I used to do that back when I was running the Hack Attack blog. Well, I think I've found the format because the latest videos I've been making with the interviews included have been really well received by you viewers. So I'm going to keep on doing it whenever I review an app. Well, at least try to get the developer on an interview. Interview. So the last person I interviewed was Bram Boss and he actually had more to say and I found one thing very interesting in particular. You see, I asked Bram if he would see himself still making plugins and iOS apps five years from now. And so he gave a really interesting answer. This is what he said. Probably not in this shape and form. I'm fairly certain that things will change. Uh, Apple, they are a very fickle bunch. The, the mobile music community is very much developing still. Uh, it's not yet in a mature stage, I would say. It's it's growing, but it could grow in a lot of different directions. It might grow into a direction that, I, that just does not resonate with me and then I need to look for something else. Uh, or I need to develop myself in a, in a different direction. It's very hard to say, but um, I, I think that five years from now, the, the entire market will look completely different from what it looks like now. We, we, we won't have, you know, the, the bi-weekly release of yet another uh, subtractive synth uh, plugin, uh, because everybody will have plenty of those by then. So we, we will see uh, developments in terms of business model, in terms of uh, user interests, in terms of workflow, integration of mobile music into the, the broader uh, music scenes like the desktop music scene. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting to, uh, to just look at what's, what's happening in the, in the mobile music scene right now. It's, it feels, as a, as a developer, it feels a lot like how the desktop music scene felt in the in the mid 90s eh, when we were still exploring what was possible with uh, computers and digital audio I, I get the same vibe the same sort of openness to exploration and, and experimentation uh, in, in the mobile music scene right now and it could go into a lot of directions but uh, right now it's a lot of fun because people are really open to try new things Thank you so much, Bram, for that valuable insight. Now, this is something that I'm going to keep on asking developers whenever I get a chance, because I want to see if there is a consensus within the developer community when it comes to the future of uh, mobile music apps in five years from now. I'm all about the data nowadays, so I'm going to keep on collecting data, keep on asking uh, developers this question, and we'll see what they say. So um, for you viewers, those of you who are or consider themselves users, app users, musicians, why don't you go down in the comment section and tell all of us reading the comment section what you think about the future of music apps. And if there are developers watching this, why don't you get in contact with me and we'll try to hook up a little Skype chat so we can do an interview or something. Uh, you can find uh, my email if you check the About Me page here on YouTube. So um, email me directly, tell me who you are, what app you've been making or are making or something like that and just um, yeah and, and and we'll we'll take it from there either way I'm really excited to hear from all of you next up I just want to say thanks to everyone who has listened to my latest published track it's the first track I've published in four years and also thanks to all of you who decided to purchase the track on Bandcamp now if you have no idea what I'm talking about then you can find the link to my Bandcamp and the latest track down here it's a track I made with uh, Tynes from Clevger Discord by Audio Damage and um, also Tardy Grain by Eric Sicht. Um, it's a really, really, really mellow track. The track itself is named Sofia's Pufkudde. It's Swedish and it basically means Sofia's Fluffy Pillow. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically it. I thought the name was pretty fitting, you know, for the for the sound, overall sound of the track. If you want to help in securing the future for this channel, um, if you want to help supporting creativity and good content here on YouTube, which is a very, very subjective thing, well, if you do you think that I'm making good content, then why not consider joining up on Patreon? If you don't want to do Patreon, then I've also got a PayPal me link, so you could do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that, or you could go buy my latest track on Bandcamp, link down in the description. If you don't want to do any of that, then you can always share my videos, um, press the thumbs up, because that really helps with the ratings around here. And if you subscribe, don't forget to press in that little bell thing, because that way you'll always get notified whenever I upload a new video. 
as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you.